So firstly, I'd like to wish everyone a warm welcome to my channel. My name is Tuki Alex and I make commentary videos. In today's video, we'll be talking about the theories going around that really had Creecraft a scare when people tried to figure out his home address because he suggested that they went to the same school. Dream stands are one of the most hated figures in the community by some. Some say Stan is different from a fan, with a Stan is essentially a super fan of a celebrity. It's crazy what's been happening the past few days in the RTC. Creecraft has even made himself lighthearted jokes about it, including a new video on the Creaky channel. And Creecraft himself tweeted this, I was watching streams where Dream talks about his online high school. I'm like 95% sure Dream was taken and I went to the exact same online high school in Florida and had the exact same computer science teacher. Not only that, but if my math adds up here, there's a good chance, if I'm right, that Dream is also in my high school's yearbook. I'm going to find it later sometime and look through it. If we were actually in the same class, I'm going to freak out. This is unfortunately where the chaos started. What happened to Essentially? Did some of these crazy fans go too far? And what can we do about it and have them learn to respect boundaries? And how does Creek feel? Let's get started. My name is Snooky Alex, and this is our Roblox drama series, where we get right into the Roblox news, drama, tips and tricks, and more. Yo, what's up, Past Junior Squad, and welcome back to another video. Before we get started in today's video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so you never miss out on the latest. In today's video, We'll be going over the Creek and Dream high school incident. After Creek tweeted out what we said before, that him and Dream were possibly in the same class, Stans went nuts. He had to delete the tweet because someone's snooping for his address. In this clip, he says this is one of the scariest moments of his life. And I don't even think he means this sarcastically. Unfortunately, when you're a YouTuber, you'll have lots of people try and go after you. This is just a known fact. But unfortunately, Creekcraft didn't realize that he put a target on his plaque by tweeting out something so simple. Roll the clip. Okay, I think uh, meeting Minecraft YouTube Twitter um, has been one of the scariest moments of my life. Um, it, it's just cause, dude, I, I I got excited because uh, Dream and I may have been in the same class. Like, uh, I I think I think we actually knew each other like five years ago, like in high school, right? Like. Like, actually, though, like, no joke, you know, like, slash SRS. And then I open up Twitter, and I, I, I see, like, slash SRS alert, like, like, the Minecraft YouTube Twitter stands, the, the Dream stands, they're, like, in red alert mode, they're, like, outside my house, they're pulling up in battle tanks to call me, like, like, stalkers and crossing boundaries and searching for private information and all that, and I'm like, dude, all I said was I think we went to the same high school, <laughs> like, that's... That's it. <laughs> I, I I I think I need to go to bed now. This is uh holy snap. That 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 was terrifying. So essentially in the clip, they went snooping for his private information because he said something even remotely similar to Dream. I think there's quite a major difference here than a normal fan and a creepy super fan, as I'd like to call it, because there really is a major difference here. No, seriously. I shouldn't be able to dictate what your life should and shouldn't do. But this seriously is not okay. Just because you are curious does not mean you should lead someone's privacy into danger. Some people just don't understand that these are public figures. They have two separate lives. And that their private lives are none of your business. I think we should really stress that this is not all fans. This is just a certain group that went absolutely crazy. After this, Queek tweeted, Deleted all the tweets. Holy, never got thrown into Minecraft Twitter before. You guys are wild. The FBI should hire all of you. For context, I got excited over the possibility of Dream and I being classmates in high school. Then my house was suddenly surrounded by Minecraft Twitter and stands. This is insane. I don't see why more people aren't talking about this. Did anyone actually show up to his house? Probably some to take a quick glimpse, but it's very likely that when Creek talks about surrounding his house, that he means figuratively, as in Stan's trying to figure out his address. 
Hence why he had to delete the tweets, because it was a big scare. I think Creek handled this situation overall very appropriately than I would have expected. Because if this was me, I would have gone private mode on everything. However, there was another reason Creek deleted the tweets too. Because this means if he had the yearbook with Dream's name in it, which has been revealed, but for the sake of privacy, I won't say it, this means that Dream's face could be revealed and this is a huge disaster. I mean, practically Dream's entire identity relies on the anonymity of his face. His entire brand is made off of his face not being shown. So some person from the computer science class that he was in just got his face easily, who was in fact A had a platform and B had somewhere to show it, this could be a massive disaster within the entire internet. Literally, a storm would be set off. So it's just a good idea to drop it, really. A majority of people in the community were a bit irritated at the fact that they were in the same class and demanded him not to show Creek's face. Dream's face, actually, says one Twitter user. Some people felt angry at Creek, despite the fact that Creek had no intentions to reveal his face and keep it to himself for the reasons I stated earlier, because of the fact he simply could have had access to this information. And it's really funny because Creekcraft is ultimately embracing it. His entire Twitter banner is known as something as Dream Not Found, which is basically the ship name of the two creators George and Dream. His banner even has Carl Jacobs as a kitty, Woo. And yesterday, Creekcraft made a video about the dream stands and parodying them, and noticed the quotes, meaning dream in real life. He's taking this pretty lighthearted, and I honestly don't see why. I would be scared for my life if anyone tried to show up to my house, who I didn't know from a parasocial relationship, and try to be like, hi. That's just weird. Even the thought of someone finding my address makes me pretty sick. So basically, Creekcraft made Dream Tweet, Dream Tweet had people going nuts, and much more. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.